The death of a fairborn woman's pet fox is stirring some strong emotions tonight. The animal was killed after it escaped from its pen. But the owner, who had a permit for that fox, wants to know why more wasn't done before he was killed. Brooke Moore was at tonight's city council meeting and has the new information at 10. When a dog turns up without tags or a collar, there are many steps before it could be euthanized. For this woman, it was three days and her pet fox was dead. City officials say there might have been a mix up. The owner says her permit feels useless if it doesn't protect her pet. Tonight, in front of Fairborn's city council, Chloe Christensen describes her pet silver fox named Velo. He was a very happy animal and he was very happy. Living with me and taking me taking care of him, and I did everything I could. I did everything right. But two Sundays ago, something went very wrong. The one and a half year old fox got loose. I immediately contacted everyone because I know how big of a deal this is because a fox is not a dog. People will hurt him. Just days later, Christensen learned a neighbor had accidentally caught Velo in a trap. The man hired to deal with wild animals in Fairborn responded, sending a photo to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Christensen says she was told officials with ODNR said it was likely someone's pet. Fairborn's mayor says there's been some confusion. She heard one thing supposedly from ODNR. We heard another thing from ODNR. So we're going to be looking into that. With no tags or way of knowing for sure, the fox was euthanized. Why did it go from confirming he was a pet to giving the orders to euthanize him? If the fox had had a collar or a chip, um, this might not have happened the way it did. Having three dogs of his own, the mayor says he hopes to help Christensen find closure and to figure out where things went wrong. Christensen wants people who hear her story to do whatever it takes to protect their animals. I want to know what happened and how we can fix this so it never happens again. Christensen has a female fox, too. She says she's going to do something to make it known she's a pet. She also has a special meeting with city leaders Friday afternoon. Reporting live, I'm Brooke Moore, 2 News, working for you.